Come on! Uh. Cursed storm. Where are we? Looks like the captain's cabin. But it's a total mess. Hello? Wait, shouldn't we just... Can't hurt to take a look around, can it? Right. Not bad. Hey, what are you doing? Keep your shirt on, okay? I beg your pardon? Till we've met the crew, we should be ready for anything. You can't just walk around and steal things. Uh, Mr... Drop the formalities. Call me Lex. Lex. I'm Anna. See? Wasn't that hard. I think first Hang we on. should... Hang on. There's no we, understood? You do whatever suits you, but don't count me in. Don't you see that all of this concerns both of us? Don't you see that you're getting on my nerves? It was a strain for both of us. What just happened to us? You're never... Let's focus on how we can get out of here. A good decision. Sorry for losing my temper. I don't remember seeing you during the trip. Might be be- Well, any- I was a bit too busy clinging onto that piece of wood while the storm was throwing us around to pay attention to anything else. What's most important is that I'm alive and well. Why did our ship sink so fast? We crashed into something, but no one on board saw what it was, which is hardly surprising considering it was pitch black that night. I'd really like to know what happened. I'm afraid we'll never find that out. What kind of ship is this? A brigantine. Two-masted transport ship. Not brand new. Ten, fifteen years old at a guess. But there's something strange about this ship. What do you mean? I'm not sure. It all looks like it's been put together with miscellaneous odd parts. I mean, look around. Everything's kind of... strange. You seem to know a thing or two about ships. I've been around. Even worked on one once. I thought that our ship was blown far off any trading route during the storm. How could we bump into a trading ship out here? That's true. A ship like this has got no business being in these waters. If this is what it looks like inside the captain's cabin, I'm- Not so fast. Riches? What do you- A proper captain doesn't boast about what he's got hidden up his sleeve. You gotta look behind the scenes if you get my drift. Where did you say you were heading? Uh, of course, but what was your- Well, what were you up- I'm a reporter for the daily newspapers back home- Blah, blah, blah. You didn't say what- Believe it or not, there's no place for a man like me- What do you mean? To be honest, I avoid- I'm sorry. I've lost my bag. Come again? My bag. Then maybe next time you should look after your stuff better. Well, maybe you saw- Sorry, didn't- Let's talk later. Locked. The newspapers are rather old. There's not much that I can decipher. Well, one of the headlines tells about kidnapped and murdered children from La Pico. It's completely empty. A nightcap for the captain? clothesline leads behind the wall and is tied to a beam. The rope goes behind the wall. I can't undo the knot with just my bare hands. It's too tight. This might help me to open something. It's got no wick and no oil. The captain might summon the crew with it. The picture shows a beautiful woman. She seems lonely. As if it was looking at me. The portrait of a- The captain seems to have a thing for ships. It shows a large ship in a harbor. The picture's crooked. 
I should take a closer look. Let's see what this picture is about. As if it was looking at me. What? There's a small key attached to the back of the picture. A picture of a large ship with white sails. Could this be the captain? That's strange. I feel a faint draft. There is, in fact, a ventilation grid behind the books. Screws hold it in place. The drawer is locked. I've unlocked the drawer. Wait a minute. Weren't you the one who got all hot under the collar just because I pocketed something? I'm looking for a way to open this door. You intended to steal the captain's valuables. You really want to compare that? Compare what you will. I'll take the note with me. The drawer is locked. I've unlocked the drawer. That's a lot of books. There's no more room for them on the bookshelf. It's jam-packed. This drawer doesn't have a handle, and seems to be stuck. A new handle for the drawer. I think I can open it now. I'll take the note with me. The picture shows a beautiful woman. She seems lonely. A wooden wall with a knot hole. This thin wooden wall is blocked by something on the other side. If I place the notes on top of one another, they show some kind of code. It doesn't seem to make sense. Maybe something's missing. There are some soggy documents inside. The ink is dried, and the feather looks ragged. They're nailed tight. I can't make out what was once written on the crates. Old and rotten. Not a place for a good night's sleep. Not in a very good condition. The captain might summon the crew with it. Tons of doorstopper books. Maybe we should just wait until someone opens the door from the other side. I'll be fine on my own. Yeah, that's pretty obvious.
It doesn't seem to make sense. Maybe something's missing. I'm afraid that doesn't help me. I'll take the note with me. Only three numbers remain. If I do it like this, I can see three numbers through the holes. was the right combination. Let's see what's inside the chest. What? How did you manage to open that lock? The captain seems to have a thing for puzzles. The combination was split and hidden in a couple of notes. A crowbar would have done the trick faster. If I put a crowbar in your hands, I'd be afraid of you wrecking the whole cabin. Hey, don't be cheeky, lady. Well, whatever. But when you hit gold, I want to be the first to know. I hope I won't cut myself with it. A strange amulet. The rope goes behind the wall. I can't undo the knot with just my bare hands. It's too tight. It doesn't fit here. Don't you feel guilty about rummaging through other people's stuff? Do you know a thing or two about knots? I've been at sea on a schooner for six years. Is that enough? There's a knot back there. I can't untie it. What a pity. I'd be delighted to help you out with that. Thank you. Not free of charge, of course. So, tell me what you have to offer. <laughs> oh? And what is it that you have in mind? Well, should you come across something valuable while you're poking around this cabin? I might be interested in it. Or you could show me some other pretty things that you might have on you. I found an expensive looking piece of jewelry. Well, thanks a million. So where's that devil's knot that's the cause of your sleepless nights? How did you do that? Let's take a look. That sloughed fox has built himself a secret chamber. And inside is, uh, what the hell is that? Maybe we can find something here to get the door open. The pipes go into the floor, probably into the cargo hold. What the hell have they built down there? Maybe it's best not to bump into those guys. Are you always that negative? 
You haven't got a clue about what a crew is capable of doing in order to keep a secret, especially one like this. And what they're capable of doing to people that they find sniffing around, like us. The broken part has to go. The gas is escaping from the machine. I'd better put a container over the leak. This might come in handy. Boy, that thing is heavy. Now I've got a kind of anchor. The door is locked. The anchor is attached to the door. Say, what on earth are you doing now? Trying to get out. Interesting try. Getting a bit seasick, are we? Just wait and see. the lock, this would have been much easier. Done! The door's open. Let's go look for the captain. Just a moment. What now? I haven't quite finished reading the logbook. And there's other bits of paper lying around. You mean that you haven't got enough loot? You've got a problem with that? I've had enough. I'm off. Oh, no, you don't. You're staying right here. Get off. Uh, uh, careful! Uh, uh. Lex! Uh, uh, I didn't want that to happen. I... I can't breathe. My ribs... Uh, I think I broke some. You're pleading. I can't feel my legs. You need help, and fast. Agreed. This might be a good time to look for the captain. I... Oh my god. Lex, S stay with me. Don't pass out. I think I'm hurt real bad. Uh, I, I might not make it. It really doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna help you. These crates. You need to get them off of me somehow. Okay. Maybe I can just lift them off. Hurry, damn it! Don't pass out. I'm gonna try. I'll do my best. I've opened the lid. Lots of pepper sprinkled onto the floor. You did it. It's about time. I don't think that I've broken anything. Ah, oh, your leg, it's bleeding. Um... We need to stop the blood. Wait, we should disinfect the wound before bandaging it. I'll look around for bandages and disinfectant. Hello? Anybody here? Maybe they've all gone to bed? Anna! Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Did you meet anyone yet? No, but I've hardly stepped out of the captain's cabin yet. Besides that, it doesn't really look so inviting around here. Gas cartridges can be attached I'll take this with me. I can't see anything. It's pitch black in here. So, what's going on? It's pitch black outside. I need to find some light. The crew? Met anyone? At least not on this deck. How's the injury? I feel weak. I'm still bleeding. 
Wait, I'll just grab a blanket from back there. Or a rag from the clothesline. Ugh, I'm not in that much of a hurry. Maybe you'll find some clothes that are slightly cleaner? Or even better, some actual bandages? All right, I'll keep looking some more. But if you begin to pass out, I'll have to use these dirty rags on you. I'm sure you'll find some nice clean bandages somewhere. In an emergency, we can make do with your blouse. How charming. This is used to fill up gas cartridges. Looks like the gas is used to light up the ship. This should work. What are you doing there? You're gonna kill us both. I... I don't know. The machine just sprung to life. Machine? To me that sounds more like a monster breathing. Somewhere deep down inside the belly of the ship. I couldn't have known something like this would happen. Well, apart from the sound, nothing has changed. Which is a good thing, because I don't think I could survive a second ship sinking today. Now if this isn't gonna help me, nothing is. should be filled with gas again, so the gas cartridges can be attached here to supply the lamps with gas. Uh, I feel watched, but it looks so... deserted. Probably just my imagination. in the hull. It's very rusty. This must be the doctor's cabin. In the back of the room there's a ventilation shaft. It's gotta lead to the captain's cabin. The door is locked. The door is locked. Maybe I can use- What's a piece of machinery like this doing on a sailing ship? The doors of this metal locker are terribly rusty. This chain might be more useful elsewhere. A collection of metal tools, cogwheels, and springs is lying around. However, more tools the better. Pipe's warm, and it's vibrating. A giant clock. The cogwheel won't hold like that. I'll need screws to fix it into pl- A giant clock. Looks like someone built it from old parts that he collected. The cord's torn off. Everything seems to be in quite a shabby state. Maybe just the wind?
Hello? Is anybody here? I'm shipwrecked, and I need some help. Hello? It would be pure suicide if I try to climb down there. Well, now I can go fishing. Who's there? Calm down, Anna. It's just your imagination. What's all this equipment for? Something must have happened. No captain would abandon his ship just like that. Mutiny, maybe? I should take a look around. Maybe I'll find some more clues. Thieves are not welcome here. I need something to crack the lock. That doesn't feel like fishing. Part of a ship's plan. Thieves are not welcome here. I need something to crack. The plan shows that the crane's controls are connected to the machine in the mess hall. It must be a souvenir from one of the cities that the ship has docked at. I think that there was a small piece of paper attached, but it seems to have been ripped off. Need to be more careful. Look at this. Pure proof alcohol. These old sacks have several splits in them. There was cocoa inside. Damn. Very short, small metal pin just broke. It was holding the pump arm in place. The pipes carry away the water that's been pumped. hull is filled with water. The pipe has been fixed in a hurry. Some steam is leaking through. A bit more heat on the soldering, and the steam would just gush out. Wait. Do I hear voices? Lex, is that you? <sighs> Calm down, Anna. It's probably just the wind. It's been set for five people. The rotten remains of the last meal are sitting on all the plates. Either the food tasted really awful, or they left the table in a hurry. These bottles still look pretty clean. Rainwater is constantly dripping into the pot. Its enamel coating doesn't- I'm sure that this fresh water will be helpful. <laughs> the nails are sticking out, and the planks are barely being held together. Part of a ship's plan. I think there's oil inside. I've managed to pull all the rusty nails out of that crate with the pliers. Now the fallen cargo is blocking the entry to two doors. If I can somehow remove it, then I could access them. The wheel always turns right. The door is blocked by the crates. What's that? The plan shows a ventilation shaft between the captain's quarters and another room. I'll assemble it.
Crates, sacks, barrels. These cooking pots are old and dented. They've also got some rusty holes in them. The steps are broken. I can't go up there. I should be able to repair the stairs with these planks. Not too shabby. I've bent the nail. It's a hook now. It doesn't make sense to use it here. One step closer to a fishing rod. Looks very professional. It's been set for five people. The rotten remains of the last meal are sitting on all the plates. Either the food tasted really awful, should hurry and help Lex. Where can I find some bandages? The bell would probably... If you could put something here... Damn it! Where were you for so long? And what was that noise? Are you trying to sink this thing? I'm really sorry that I was away for so long. Hey, I'm the one who's sorry. If only I could help you. I broke through a rotten staircase and ended up in the mess hall. The crew? Not a trace. I think the ship's abandoned. Well, I don't think so. I can hear these strange sounds, and everything seems to be moving. I think it's high time to stop your bleeding. I haven't given up hope that you'll find some proper bandages. Maybe there's a doctor on board. Or there was one on board. Now I can take a closer look at the ventilation shaft. Insulating material could come in useful. I did it! I've managed to use the fishing rod to hook out the skull drill. I've drilled the lock open. physician's diary. The last entries are about a sailor who crushed his hand. It also mentions a Subject A. Subject A does not seem to respond to the treatment. Nonetheless, I will increase the dose. Contains musty sheets and overalls. Lots of old bandages crusted with blood. Did this doctor help people or did he harm them? The label says, Ether, keep away from children. 
The bottle's open and the contents have long since evaporated. Lux could have a lie down here. But the stubborn idiot prefers to sit. Lux could have a lie down here. But the stubborn idiot- A Bible! It's been opened, and one paragraph's been marked. Think not that I am come to send peace on Earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. The bedpan looks like a tiny oven. Water drips into the old enamel bowl now and again. There are a lot of rusty metal spots where the enamel coating is chipped off. There might be useful things in there. There are bandages, a thin thread, and a needle in the bag. Nothing to sew here, nothing to sew here. That's really not what a bed warmer's for. Nothing here that I need to insulate. That's really not what a bed warmer's for. Pictures of human organs. The glass is cracked, but the mirror is still in one piece. I should get that to Lex. Might be useful to sew things together with. Nothing to sew here. An anatomically correct depiction of a skeleton. Make many things out of leather. There was a letter hidden behind the picture. It must contain secret information if the doctor hid it there. I took a letter from the picture frame. Lex? Lex! What are you doing there? Shouldn't you be lying down? This is starting to give me the creeps. See, I wanted to read the ship's log, but I didn't get too far. What do you mean? I think that the last entry was made a couple of weeks ago. But I'm not completely sure, because the cover sheet with the year printed on it was missing and the words started to blur, right in front of my eyes, as if the book refused to be read by me. Just stop it! Your mind is playing tricks on you. The pages at the back are written in Portuguese, but I can hardly see a thing, and my head aches like hell. I think I need a painkiller before I can try to see if I can read it. But... So, did you find something? I found both. Thank God. You're brilliant. I've got to take a rest. I don't feel well. I'm quite weak. Maybe it was a mistake to board this ship. What are you talking about? I've got a really bad feeling about this ship. As if it doesn't want us to be here. Wait. I've got something for you. That's my bag. Where did you... Did you steal it? It, it kind of fell into my hand when we were in the water. I... 
I'm sorry. Oh well. At least you're giving it back to me. It's not much, but at least I've got some of my belongings back. A couple of things that I've noted down. I wanted to use them for a news article. I'd better not try to cut that. I'd better not try to cut that. I'd rather leave it in one piece. I can take a closer look at things with it. The picture shows a beautiful woman. She seems lonely. Looks like a sick room. Maybe I can find medicine for Lex in here. But the crates are in my way. I need to get rid of them somehow. Bed warmer's not practical for carrying oil. You usually put coals in it. It's the only picture that I have of my real parents. I always buff up the frame to shine. Look, I can even see my reflection in it. Nothing here that I need to insulate. These kinds of pipes on a sailing ship. Somehow that doesn't seem to fit to here's the control transformer. But it doesn't work because the belts are gone. The belt is making the cylinder turn. I reckon that I need a second belt. This massive rope goes all the way up to the crane. Something is barring the door. I can't get out! The lifeboat is blocking the door. A chip log. I can determine the ship's speed with it. Thieves are not welcome here. I need something to crack the lock. That's really not what a bed warmer's for. Nothing here that I need to insulate. Nothing to sew here. Nothing to sew here. I better keep this. I better keep this. I better keep this. To use the chip log, I need to go outside. Or at least open a window. To use the chip log, I need to go outside. Or at least open a window. Something's wrong. The compass is spinning like crazy. H how can that be?
There's an opening behind it. I wonder what it's for. The shaft leads down to the ship's mess hall. Above the grating, I can see a crane. What's a piece of machinery like this doing on a sailing ship? A big shelf, full of scrap metal. You can make many things out of leather. I'll cut the leather into shape. Doesn't fit just like that. I'll sew it together. Both belts are in place. Let's see if this works. The hook on which the lifeboat was hung to the crane is now dangling from a hatch. But the crane would be useful even without the hook. Quite high up. These kinds of pipes on a sailing ship. Some to use the chip log, I need to go outside. That's really not what a bed wants. These kinds of pipes on a sailing ship. Somehow that doesn't seem to fit together. The old workbench hasn't been used in a while. It's coated thick with dirt and strewn with rusty nails. That's really not what a bed warmer's for. Nothing here that I need to insulate. As if you could put something here. This chain might be more useful elsewhere. The shaft leads down to the ship's mess hall. Above the grating, I can see a crane.
This chain might be more useful elsewhere. Crates, sacks, barrels, these kinds of pipes on a sailing ship. Somehow that doesn't seem to fit together. This massive rope goes all the way up to the crane. I don't think that it'll be useful to leave the rope in this position. The crane's blocked. It looks like I can only turn it when the rope is pulled up. The crane's in the right position to lift the cargo, but the rope isn't long enough. The shaft leads down to the ship's mess hall. Above the grating, I can see a crane. Now the rope's long enough to reach the ground. Right. Now the rope's long enough. The fallen cargo is blocking the entry to two doors. If I can somehow remove it, then I could access them. The chain's attached to the cargo now. I should be able to lift it up. Crates, sacks, barrels. Ah! Oh my god, that scream came from the room behind this door! What kind of strange light is this? I... I feel so weak. Ah, the effect of the drug is lessening. Can you hear me? Where... Am I? Speak when you're spoken to, girl. You're at high sea with no sight of land for far and wide. My parents... I... Your parents are the where? first thing to come into your mind? That almost surprises me. Who are you? Where am I? I'm Dr. Eduardo Juarez. Just call me doctor. 
I'm so very keen to find out what's going on inside your head. What? Leave me alone! I want to go home! Now that's impossible. You can never go home again. Leave me alone, please! I can't do that. Why? Who are you? I'll check on you later. The two of us are going to spend a long, long time together. Now here's a little treasure. I needed to see you with my own eyes. I'm Cesar, so you're called Fiona. What a sweet name. And you are really lovely, lovely hair. I'll come back later when my shift is done. Then, I'll check up on you. Shush. Huh? Come here, quick. Here, behind the wall. I can't see you. Where are you? Who are you? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Reuben. Reuben? Did you forget about me, sister? So, you're my brother. Oh, Fiona, what have they done to you? I don't know. Don't believe a word that the grown-ups say. They don't want to help you. No one on board will. This is a smuggler's ship. It sails the seven oceans with its pitch black sails billowing, carrying locked up children. But the doctor... That's what he calls himself. But he's not going to cure you. He would be sold. Or he would carry out terrible experiments on you. But that can't be. Listen to me. He's abducted you. And he's given you medicine to make you sleep. I'm in the room behind this wall. I found a lot of things. They talk much. I can help you escape. What? I... What? What should I do? Just do what I say. Then I can help you. Only then. How are you going to help me? I'm terribly afraid. Calm down. Trust me. You have to do exactly what I tell you. I can show you the way. Alright. I'll try. Good. First, you need to find a way out of this prison. Explore everything. Somehow, you can free yourself. You're clever. You can do it. <laughs>